Hey everybody, my name is Forrest Stevens. Today I'm going to show you how I turn this minivan into a really cool stealth camper van. And uh, you guys can see a more comprehensive tour on uh, that's actually filmed by somebody else on my other channel called Different Media. But uh, stay tuned on this one because I will mention a couple things that I forgot to mention on the on that other one. So um, we're coming in here. So we have this bed frame. This is on slats and it actually slides in and out. I do have a video detailing that as well. And right now it's in couch mode. So um, this couch is a bed that you can see it's a little bit slanted. You could cut it and then rehem it so that it would work well. You can also just sit on it like this and um, it works pretty good too. Um, so the reason I did it as a couch is because then that gives you a lot more living space right here. Um, you can kind of see that. This is the kitchen. This is actually fixed down. I just have some camping dishes here, some essentials. This is all bolted down. And this is a piece of driftwood, so I used a lot of reclaimed stuff here. And it's L-bracketed in, and then also supported by this here. And this is a gray water here. And this sink I built using just parts from the dollar store, pretty much. Actually, this is from a hardware store, and it has a little seal. It works quite well. And then it's uh, just plumbed down here and fit on here. And uh, this is just making it a nice tension seal. The tube goes all the way down. So this is just a gravity fed system. It's really simple. This jug was two bucks at the dollar store. And then you have actual pressurized water without a pump of any kind. Moving on, I have my buddy heater, which I would uh, actually set up you know, somewhere safe and secure. I've got the Cubic Mini, um, so these were just on display and I just kind of talked about them more or less. I was thinking about putting these in but never did. Uh, and this is the Tiny Woodsman. They're both really great stoves and they're both linked below. This is the Jackery 240. Uh, it runs this entire van pretty much. Right here I've actually wired in with a little switch and a plug. I've wired in, so you just plug that in. Hit this here, and you got LED lights. Simple. A lot of the exterior I wanted to make uh, with malleable materials, so the insulation around the sides and, yeah, around the sides is Reflectix, so it all molds in and you get these extra little spaces like here. That you would have to, um, if you had something like wood, it would actually take that up. And then it's covered in burlap, which is another malleable material. It, it doesn't look as nice as I'd probably want it to look, like some wood, adding some wood finish to it would probably look nicer. Wood, wood, wood. Um, yeah, so anyway, the LED strips go all the way up. The ceiling is insulated with half inch um, insulation, a radiant lining, and then an air gap and Reflectix. So you're getting really good insulation on the roof. The bottom is, um, this was actually uneven, so it goes from one inch to half inch to just Reflectix, and all of that's covered in Reflectix as well. Um, so that's, I was talking with inches there, I was talking about the foam that I put in. This is a little cabinet I built with just a simple latch, and the bed sort of is in the way. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's really simple. Um, these little reflectors here, this black part goes against the window and it's perfectly cut out for the size, and then this is actually uh, goes um, a little too much, and then that will really like seal out the uh, seal out any light coming in or any light going out. Um, this is a piece of Reflectix with a white sheet and the burlap, and this actually acts as a separator to separate the front. And I've actually haven't done anything to the front. It's uh, completely just normal. So from the outside, if these are up and this is down. It will look just from any passerby or just like a minivan that nobody's in. Uh, that was very intentional. Also, it was intentional to do this white part here because I have the Meg Magnasonic um, little projector and it just hooks up to HDMI. We can turn that on if you want. There it is. So yeah, that would just cast, it's casting up here, but you would just tilt it down and get it right onto that sheet. And I just built that with um, just GoPro parts and glued it on and then a GoPro mount that's directly bolted to the ceiling. Um, what else do I have? Um, I covered this in uh, 
uh, just this green astroturf, just to give it sort of a finishing feel and touch. I'm gonna close this for now and show you one extra little thing I have. So this, um, when you're driving, it's up like this and it doesn't really bounce around at all. When you're not driving, you can lower this, bring this up like this, and you actually have a, a desk. So using, using this string right here that you see, it's bolted up there and you can just tie it off. Yeah, I just set that up. Uh, it acts as like a prep station here or, you know, you can set up your computer and sit here and type away and um, yeah, little desk setup. You need to think about that kind of stuff when you're dealing with such a small space like a minivan. And uh, this was just simple solution type things. I had a couple different ways I was going to support it. I was thinking about making an extendable beam to come up from here and support it just underneath like that. But essentially all you need is, um, I, essentially all I used actually was just this rope and then I twisted it, giving a lot more tensile strength. Um, yeah. Um, and this just gets tucked away. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, links for the Jackery and for the um, wood stoves are all in the description. Those were given to me by sponsors and um, that's just awesome that they did that. Haven't actually used any of the wood stoves, but I plan to maybe in my next build. Um, this was perfect for filmmaking because I could just get around. Um, didn't cost that much for gas and I could save by not having to go to Airbnbs and things like that. And I could just get around and actually make films which is um, the reason I bought this and the reason I converted it. So uh, like this, essentially. I'm gonna be getting rid of this because we just got something a lot cooler that will actually work for me and Emily, um, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you wanted to see that any part of this build, I, I literally recorded everything that I've done and that can all be seen on this channel, a playlist, is in the description um, it'll be titled like minivan conversion or something like that and you can see everything that I've done you can see how I made these window covers the bed frame the stove kitchen area sink lighting everything is in there so you guys could get a van and do the same thing if you like this conversion this is my smaller channel this is um, really the people that are fans of me and what I do not just the different media not just the documentary stuff but or that are interested in everything I do. So I just wanted to also just thank everybody who's watching this that's been a subscriber for a while or um, is just um, starting to follow along but is really interested in what I'm doing. Um, I'm a filmmaker. I've directed documentaries and, that are on Amazon Prime. Some of them are here on YouTube as well. And um, my goal is to just travel around and showcase alternative dwellings in the hope to help educate people who are interested in that already. And um, allow them to make those steps a lot easier. So if you guys find any value from that, um, I would recommend subscribing because I'm gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff coming up soon. And that's because I'm going nomadic. And I'm not going nomadic in this, I'm actually gonna be selling this really soon, but I'm going nomadic in my Toyota-based motorhome, which I'll show you guys right now. So here's the camper van, it's a Slumber Queen, 20 feet. It's got the old um, four-cylinder, R22 fuel injected engine in the hood there. Toyota base, man, four cylinder for something this big, it's crazy. It's so good on fuel. You get between 20 and 25 miles per gallon. Awning, deadbolt, gotta stay safe, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is gonna be sweet. Me, Emily, and our cat Ronnie are gonna move into this and uh, travel North America making videos. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching.